stardust is a fun way of saying that the sort of elements and molecules that we depend on to have, you know, bodies and, 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 and a solid earth and to have, you know, more advanced elements in our bodies than just hydrogen and helium. The reason that we have all these things is because of stars, that stars are wonderful factories. And in fact, stars are the only way that we know of in nature to produce many of these heavier elements that we depend on. So I think stars are one of the most amazing parts of creation, and, and I think it's a very ingenious invention of, of God, if you will, is that stars basically take hydrogen, which is the simplest element uh, that there is, and a little bit of helium, which is what we believe the universe basically started with in that energetic beginning that, that most scientists now conclude is what happened at the very beginning of our universe. You start with mostly hydrogen atoms, in, and a little bit of helium. Um, and then you start getting mass conglomerates of this forming all throughout space. And space itself was, was smaller than that it is now. We now know that space is expanding. And when these sort of aggregates of mass begin to form, you know, gravity tends to pull things together. That's, that's what gravity does. It's a basic fundamental force. You finally get uh, clumps of this hydrogen and helium that are actually strong enough to uh, pull themselves together to have enough mass and enough pressure in this collapsing clump that the innermost part, the hydrogen gas inside, begins to fuse and form helium, the next heavier element. The helium fuses together to form lithium and so forth and so on through the periodic table, if you remember your, your school chemistry. Eventually, stars in the middle convert all their hydrogen to helium. And their helium in a shell around that gets converted to lithium and so forth. The stars, after they get through several episodes of these elements fusing into heavier elements, become unstable. They get to a point where they can't continue this process stably. And the largest of these stars, the result of their instability, is a massive explosion called a supernova.